Today we are going to learn how to replace or add an emission filter to the emission filter wheel on the Mithras LB940. This will also apply to the TriStar 1 LB941. A few things that will be needed is the actual filter that was ordered and this is actually a 535 nanometer filter, a clamping ring, an optical cloth for cleaning the filter in case you get any fingerprints on it. A flashlight does come in handy. And a small screwdriver. With the instrument off, the first thing you need to do is loosen this screw and lift the cover. After the instrument is off, make sure the PMT is in this position with the tension close shutter before lifting up the detector. The shutter is actually located down next to the filter slide and all you have to do is push gently to the right and the shutter is now closed. Closing the shutter protects the PMT from excessive light. Next step after you close the shutter is to look down inside the instrument and see and look at, at this half circle. What you want to do is rotate the white wheel until the half cutout circle is parallel to the PMT. After you've positioned the PMT and the cutout parallel to the PMT, you can now pull the knob that is on the left hand side and once that is pulled, you can grab the PMT and it will now come up and click into place. After you've lifted up the PMT, you will notice a cover plate. This cover plate has three cutouts. One, two, three. You need to align these cutouts with these three pins. Once you align them, you will now be able to take the cover plate off. As you notice, you can see position number one is in the 12 o'clock position. Make sure you remember this because it's important that you keep number one in the 12 o'clock position because the filter wheel will not go inside without number position one being in the 12 o'clock 12 o'clock position. All you need to do is grab this and pull straight up and out and now you can set this on the table. I have my 535 nanometer filter and I look for the arrow. It just so happens with emission filters the arrow goes against the light path so the arrow goes down. I am going to put this in position number two. I'm going to install my clamping ring. I will then clean the filter if I had any fingerprints on it. And then since I knew position one was in the 12 o'clock position, I will now proceed to install it back into the instrument. As you can see, it is in the 1 o'clock position, but this is not correct. That center post needs to be flush with the top of that cutout circle. If it is not flush, it is not installed correctly. So what you need to do is kind of lift up a little bit. Until it drops down into place. As you can see, the pin is now flush. As you remember, we have the cover plate. So now we look for our three cutouts and we align them with the three pins. Once it's aligned, move the big circle to about the two o'clock position. Once that's done, we can now lower 
the PMT by pulling on the knob and carefully letting it rest onto that filter plate. Once it's on the filter plate, you want to hold the filter plate and rotate the PMT until you hear it click into place. Now you know everything has been seated properly. One of the common mistakes when changing or replacing a filter in the filter wheel is not opening the shutter afterwards. So if you do close the instrument and start microwind and get all background counts of 0 to 50, you know your shutter is closed. So what we need to do now is take the PMT and move the shutter to the left and now light can get to the PMT. Once this is done, we can now lower the lid and tighten the screw. Okay, after you have completed the prior operations, you can now turn on the instrument. Once the instrument has initialized, you can now start your MicroN 2000 software. And what we need to do now is we need to assign the filter to the filter wheel. So what we do is we go to Instrument, Emission Filter Wheel, and you can see we have some already assigned there, but what we want to do is we want to add a new filter. And in this case, it's going to be a 535 nanometer filter. We're going to use this for fluorescence. And we hit OK. It adds it to the list. Then we just drop and drag it into the specific position that the filter was installed in. Remember that if you do install a filter in a position and you don't assign it to the correct position within the software, it will not be recognized. Then all we do is hit OK. And now you have successfully installed an emission filter in the emission filter wheel on the Mithras or the TriStar 1.